What's up guys, welcome back to Supercars of Westchester. It's officially spring and while a lot of you might be taking the covers off your summer rides, some of you may just be in the market for a new one. So today we have 9 mid-engine supercars you guys can get your hands on for under $100,000. I used a combination of Auto Tempest and Auto Trader to find the best deals across the country. These will be in no particular order and of course prices will vary by year and mileage. So let's hop into it and take a look. The first up at number 9 is a McLaren MP4 12C. When this car first hit the streets back in 2011 as a 2012 model, it had a hefty price tag of $220,000, being optioned all the way up to almost $300,000. This being the first major production car from McLaren looked absolutely gorgeous and still does in my opinion. And who doesn't like those beautiful butterfly doors? Equipped with a 3.8 liter twin turbo V8 producing 616 horsepower, launching this car from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds. Weighing in at 3,100 pounds, this car is actually lighter than a Lamborghini Huracan. Recently, these cars have been popping up on the market as low as $90,000, nearly 60% off the original MSRP. While McLaren does not have the best track record for reliability, this car does check all the boxes in the supercar market and at a bargain price of under $100,000 seems like a steal. Coming in at number 8 is the Ferrari F430. Produced from 2004 to 2009 with an original MSRP of around $200,000, now sits on the market for as low as seventy-five dollars Again about 60% off from the original MSRP. This being the successor of the popular 360 Modena which currently sits on the market at around sixty dollars to $80,000. Seems like a really good buy in terms of where this car could be headed in terms of depreciation over the next few years. The F430 features a 4.3 liter V8 producing 483 horsepower and a top speed of 196 miles per hour with a 0 to 60 time in 3.6 seconds. Next up at number 7 is the Lamborghini Gallardo produced from 2003 to 2013. This car had a 10 year run with several different variants along the way, such as the LP560, the Superleggera, the Performante, and the final edition, the Squadra Corsa. With an original MSRP of nearly $200,000, this car currently sits on the market at around $75,000 and holding there pretty strongly. Equipped with a 5 liter V10 engine producing 493 horsepower, this car is arguably the best sounding car on this list. In at number 6 is a 2014 Porsche 911 GT3. With a 3.8 liter flat 6 engine developing 475 horsepower, this car is able to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds and a top speed of 202 miles per hour. This car is currently around $90,000 and has not had many exterior changes and does not look substantially different from the current GT3 models which are currently on the market for $150,000. Speaking of Porsche, another model will come in at number 5 as the 2016 Porsche Cayman GT4. This is such a beautiful car in my opinion and for around $80,000 you can put one in your garage. Now I'll admit that I am not too familiar with the history of this car so please let me know in the comments below and correct me if I'm wrong, but my recent research has shown me that the original MSRP on this car was $85,000, which would mean that this car has not really depreciated at all over the last 4 years making this possibly a fantastic buy if the value continues to hold at that level. So I'm curious to hear all of your thoughts on this one. Coming in at number 4 is a 2015 Audi R8. With an original MSRP of around $160,000, this car is currently on the market for as low as $80,000. Equipped with two different engine variants, a 4.2 liter V8 producing 430 horsepower and a 5.2 liter V10 producing 525 horsepower. This car looks and sounds like a proper mid-engine supercar with the V10 engine doing 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.4 seconds. And with the 2015 model year being the last year of the first generation models, it seems to be the best bang for the buck in terms of the other R8 models. The following model would be the updated 2017 version, which currently sits at a low of around $115,000. So if you opt to go with the 2015 model and save $35,000, 
that seems like a pretty good deal at the end of the day for a V10 supercar. Coming in at number 3 is the BMW i8. This car was first introduced in 2014 and still has that timeless futuristic look to it. One of only two cars on this list with butterfly doors and the only one utilizing an electric engine along with a 1.5 liter 3 cylinder engine producing 357 horsepower launching this car from 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. A less impressive number compared to the others on this list but with the unique styling of this car puts it right up there with the rest and makes it a real head turner when seeing one in the wild. Original MSRP on this car was around $150,000 while a used 2015 model can be found for nearly $50,000 on the current market. That's 67% off original MSRP and probably the largest drop in value of the cars on this list. With a 4 year warranty these cars have recently begun to expire in terms of what is covered by the dealer and with the amount of technology that's being integrated into this car little is known of the maintenance costs god forbid something major is to go wrong. The extended warranty runs about $8,000 for 3 years which is a hefty price to pay and can possibly be what is affecting the value of these cars in the long run. Number 2 on this list is actually a brand new car. The 2020 Lotus Evora has been revised and in my opinion the best looking yet. With a starting price of $97,000 this car is very eye catching. With a supercharged 3.5 liter V6 that makes 416 horsepower and 332 pound feet of torque it only weighs 3100 pounds and has a 0 to 60 of 3.8 seconds. Last but certainly not least, in at number 1 is of course going to be the 2020 Corvette C8. This is probably the best value for money among the cars on this list, coming in at only 60000 Equipped with the Z51 package and an LT2 option, which would get you most of the accessories that makes the C8, well, a C8, and you are still only looking at around $72,000 for a mid-engine car that has 495 horsepower and a 0 to 60 of only 2.8 seconds. This being brand new and one of the cheaper cars on this list begs the question, is this the choice to go with among these top 9 in terms of value for money and performance? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Which car is your favorite if you could only choose one? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as I will be doing another C8 poster giveaway at 500 subscribers. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.